Hi, this is Thomas from MarsMoonSpace.com Take a good look at this one we have here This is from a high-rise resolution Resolution, sorry <laughs> Image from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter And what are we looking at here? This is a very close zoom On uh, a software called HiView As everybody can download on NASA's homepage it's a brilliant tool, it's a great tool because you can go pretty close on high resolution images without it getting blurred. Take a look at this one here, Wh what are we looking at here? This was the first one picture you saw in the beginning of this video. It looks like an open mouth, a nose and an eye here. And maybe there once was an eye here and it collapsed or fell down, what do I know? But if you look at this piece over here, it actually looks like you can take this piece and flip it up here and then you will have part of the eye here and part of the mouth here. I don't know, but <laughs> I couldn't help think of it. But anyway, it's a great image, it's a really great image. It does remind me of uh, Star Wars and the scene with Han Solo when they put him in this box freezing him or <laughs> whatever they're doing with him it's a nice one it's a nice one i got something else on this uh, image to show you also because this is a one gigabyte image it's, it's a large one it's a really really large one uh, i'm just gonna zoom out so you can see how big this image actually is here's uh, the face with the open mouth and here you have the whole image and the whole size of it and you can see I have been doing something down here it's so I can find what I want to show you next don't mind the numbers or the text it's a great image, it's a great image let's go down here and see if we can find that little blue spot I made before We are getting closer, we are getting closer, and take a look at this one here. This is the one I want to show you. What are we looking at? It looks like a round object laying on top of the sand dunes. I was born and raised in a family who believed in UFOs, saw UFOs, saw disc shaped objects in the skies. So, <laughs> it's probably in my gene to say <laughs> that it looks like a disc shaped object parked on the ground or crushed on the ground or, or just laying there. And if you look closely, you can see something that looks like a little dome shape in the middle here. I don't know. I'm not stating anything. I am not saying it is a disc. I'm not saying it is a UFO. I'm just saying it has a shape that makes me think of that and um, I was just wondering if it's been there for a while why wasn't it covered in, in sand since it's laying on top of the sand dunes anyway the decision of what you see is yours I just showed you the pictures this is a great one I think this is some of the the closest we can get to it this is the absolute closest but remember this is a high resolution image, it's taken from 290 kilometers away or something like that so this object here would be between 70 meters and 100 meters from here to here I would estimate it to have just about that size but again I'm no professor, I'm no expert, I'm just this guy sitting on YouTube and zooming in on anomalies on orbiter images. <laughs>
What are we looking at here? Are we looking at an alien craft? Are we, is it just a rock? I heard that before. <laughs> Give me your thoughts on it in the video description on YouTube or on Facebook. I'm just gonna zoom out again so you can see the whole image again. This is one big image, I can guarantee you. A really, really big one. And there are a lot of anomalies in it. I can't go through all of it here. I simply don't have the time and you probably don't either. So, until we see you again, take care. Bye. One, two, three.